a very interesting study. It was in a town in north, northern Norway, a village that kept incredible records on every citizen. Birth date, every hospital record, every year, whatever, they had hospitals in those. But it was, it was around, uh, around early, late, between, between about 1870 and 1920. What they found was that there was, now they didn't have access to other cities and stuff. So they kind of were dependent on themselves. And they found that the death rates went down, the hospital visits went down, and uh, the longevity, the life ex uh, expectancies went up during times of famine, when there wasn't enough food. Ergo, there wasn't enough food to overindulge. And they ate what was necessary. And they found that, and the interesting thing was, is they found that even though the dietary, the diet, their habits changed, like near the end of their, near the end of their life, the new generation came. What they found was that their grandchildren lived, I forget how many years longer. So it's passed on. What's passed on? Not genes, epigenetics, the environment around a cell that turns genes on and off. It's an epigenetic.